All right, let's talk quickly about the treatment in detail. So the word in order, how are we going to treat this? What, what, is, what are the first steps? It's called rebooting. Uh, that's just kind of the, if you type that in Google, uh, that's typically what they call this type of recovery is a reboot. And essentially, no artificial sexual stimuli. No porn substitutes. What's a porn substitute? You know, looking at Victoria's Secret, looking at Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Model, anything that causes you to seek and look for more pictures and cause a dopamine release and, and, and spend a lot of time keeping this uh, high do dopamine risk. So no artificial sex with them, no porn substitute. Focus on real, that's pretty obvious. Touch be touched, smells, aroma, interactions with real people. Don't watch, be part of the game, don't be on the sideline. Can't control. You know what? The idea is in real interactions, real intimacy, you don't have control. So again, to recover, we need to diminish the pathway that is hurting us, and we need to build up the pathway that we see, the real people path. Now, what's uh, women's role? Again, most this is mostly a problem of men. But again, I think I tell my patients when I see them as a family. I tell them that avoid criticizing because it's not that, you know, that, um, that he, it's, it's an addiction. It's he needs help, he needs support. It's not so much that it's almost the point where he's, com he's compelled. Again, it doesn't give him an excuse, but at the same time, it doesn't help the situation by judging and criticizing. And then basically, we've got to work together to reconfigure the association. Again, the idea of sensual touch. This doesn't have to lead to sex. You start with a few minutes and build up. Now, if, what happens if you accidentally bump in, you're, you know, you're, you're on CNN or whatever, you're on Yahoo.com checking your email, and you get this 20 hottest selfies or whatever, and you see it, but what happens if you, if you go, if you turn away from it and don't go down that provo proverbial rabbit hole, you're okay, no big deal, it's not gonna be an issue. Okay if you accidentally bump into it. Uh, stop masturbation. Again, this is kind of controversial, masturbation. This is really not the topic of the, uh, the discussion, the topic of discussion. I know, tell my patients to stop masturbating. They can. The reason, everybody, every man has his own masturbatory style. And it can be weird. A lot of pressure, whatever, a certain way. That, so if you keep doing this over and over, you desensitize your penis. And what ends up happening is no way the vagina can keep up with your death grip. It's just not, it's not possible. I mean, so it's, I know it's, so, it's, so basically, if you do this over a prolonged period of time, what's going to end up happening is you're not going to be able to uh, ejaculate in a vagina. And this I see a lot in my, I have complaints, I have patients come and say, Doc, I can't ejaculate in my wife's vagina, or I have an intercourse. Another question is, is the idea about, um, is it okay to orgasm with a, uh, with a poor partner during your, re your, your rebooting phase? Well, it's controversial. Some say that it'll set you back. You need to spend a fair amount of time before you do this. I am of the opinion that it's okay as long as there is no porn involved. I think it's okay, uh, although everyone's a little different. It's rebooting is temporary. We'll talk about some times in the next slide. An important concept is young men, young men need more time than older men. Why? So we know addiction afflicts younger people more severely than it does older people. So again, we need to get the we need to get our younger men being around people, not to isolate themselves, not to prefer artificial stimulation. For older men, probably they should get stand from porn and they should be okay. Don't force the issue. Here's some, uh, some uh, suggestions I give. Avoid, again, avoid masturbation. Uh, there are forums that you can go to, such as Reboot Nation. Uh, you can install porn filters in your, on, your, on your computer. And education. How long? This is always the question. This is the million dollar question. How long does it take? Older men, as we said, don't need as much because their rewiring is less. They do not have the exposure, as much exposure as the younger, you know, the younger one. So it kind of depends on how old you are and how long you've been doing it. Generally about three months, you need to abstain. And you need to continue to abstain from artificial sex. 
you want this, if you want the response, if you want the quality of your erections to improve, if you want your penile sensitivity to return, if you want your bizarre tastes to return more back to your baseline natural taste, you have to abstain permanently. Younger men, much more, the healing is generally pretty stable, but for younger men, it's very unstable. Very difficult. Young men report it's harder to stop pornography than it is to stop alcohol or cigarettes. So rebooting is not linear. There's going to be many ups and downs, but the idea is to continue to progress without the artificial. If you go three or four days and you have a relapse, get back on. Try again. Try again until you're able to find success. We'll conclude here with the withdrawal. Now, interestingly enough, when these patients, you're trying to get them off pornography, you know what, I, what we see is what's called a flat line. Loss of libido, indifferent about sex, lifeless genitals, cannot get an erection, it freaks them out. Oh my God, I'm 18, I can't get an erection. And then you know what they see, what ends up happening is they get so anxious that they go back because they just want to make sure that they can still have an erection. They're so scared, and that's a problem. You have, to, you have to counsel your patients about these withdrawal symptoms because we said, yes, pornography is a drug. Depression can lead to suicide, anxiety. And we talk about panic leading to men going back to the porn cycle. Brain fog, they say, yeah, doc, I can't focus on anything. I can't concentrate on anything. I just feel like I'm in a funk. Loss of ambition. Now, these are temporary, but how long? It's different for everyone. They need a lot of support and counseling. The good news is the brain is malleable. All can heal from porn and use erectile dysfunction. All of us can. Here's some resources that are excellent. And any questions, thank you. Any questions, comments, concerns? Good morning, entertainment.